then uh, the world can seem an unfriendly and sinister place. But believe us when we say that there is much more good in it than bad. And what might seem to be a series of unfortunate events may, in fact, be the first steps of a journey. Our journey begins here, at the home of our new guardian. Hello, hello, hello. I am your beloved Count Olaf. Three orphans. My dear. Violet. An unscrupulous guardian. All I ask is that you do each and every little thing that pops into my head. While I enjoy the enormous fortune your parents left behind. We're very concerned. This Christmas, based on the series of best-selling books, you're invited to discover... This way, to the reptile room. Whoa. A world built by imagination, ruled by invention, and strung together by a series of unfortunate events. Paramount Pictures and DreamWorks Pictures present Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey. And then the unthinkable happened. Now that we're family, I can be the ultimate dad. Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. I'm Ben Stiller. Hi. Hey, how's it going? I'll tell you how it's going. It's going very well because I'm about to give you a heads up look at this new, wild, wild new movie called Madagascar. Madagascar. It's an amazing, fantastic computer animated comedy adventure from DreamWorks. What is it about? It's about four friends who all live next door to each other at New York's Central Park Zoo. I play the king of New York. If there's one thing I've learned as a lifelong New Yorker, it's never trust your instincts. And then there's my best friend Marty, the zebra, played by Chris Rock. I don't know. This place is crack a -lackin'. And then there's Gloria. Playing this big, fat, gorgeous hippo is the small, thin, gorgeous Jada Pinkett Smith. You don't mess with Gloria. Don't make me come up there. I get the whooping on both of y'all. And then there's this guy, the most neurotic animal ever, Melman the Giraffe. He's played by David Schwimmer, who we all know from that TV show that I can't, I, I don't remember the name of. Okay, okay. Oh, you know how I have that bladder infection and I have to get up every two hours? Oh my. Okay, so we're all happy living in the zoo. Everything's cool. Next thing we know, what are you guys doing? We're digging to Antarctica and eh, Hudica. Can you keep a secret, my monochromatic friend? Do you ever see any penguins running free around New York City? Of course not. We don't belong here. It's just not natural. We're going to the wide open spaces of Antarctica. To the wild. I like the sound of that. That sounds great. You didn't see anything, right? Yes, sir. And then, next thing we know, bam, bam. We're boxed up in crates, similar to the ones that I'm standing in front of, and we're put on a ship to somewhere. We got no idea where. What is going on? We're all in crates. It's a transfer. It's a zoo transfer. Zoo transfer? Oh, no. No, no, I can't be transferred. I have an appointment with uh, Dr. Goldberg at Melman. five. There are Melman. prescriptions Melman. that have Ca to be filled. Down. No other zoo Melman. could afford Relax. my medical Calm care. Down, and Melman. I am not going HMO. And then, we wash up on the shore of Madagascar, which is how that ties into the title. Now, where is Madagascar? Well, you make a right on 57th Street, and you go east. And you just keep going east. It's an island off the coast of Africa. It's purple, but not in real life. It's not a pretty picture, but it's an amazing movie. Really, Madagascar is unlike anything you've ever seen. You'll love it, trust me. Trust me. Ah, uh, nature! It's all over me, get it off!
Alan Tracy is just your average teenager. Only his home is a closely guarded secret. His family Dad, is shrouded in mystery. But when lives need saving, a forest fire in Vladivostok, a typhoon heading for Singapore, their elite team is the force the world counts on. It's a Thunderbird! It's a Thunderbird! Yeah! They are the world's ultimate rescue organization. The first main thruster is on my mark. Saving lives is a dangerous business, but it's what we do. Run it up, boys! But in a family of heroes... Of course that was me. Alan Tracy was always left behind. Don't you have homework to do or something? Until... Fire. Mayday! Mayday! He was the last one left. Who will rescue the rescuers? I say we have to do something. It's gonna be dangerous. We're the Thunderbirds. Our duty is to save those people. The situation's hopeless. There's still time. We've got people on the ground working for us. Alan, this is a kid. He's a Tracy. Get ready. Kill them all. A new generation is coming to the rescue. This summer, Thunderbirds are go. Time to thunder eyes. Get a vigil! Get a vigil! Let's get this party started right! They're everyone's favorite fishes. It's, uh, it's fish. Not, not fishes. Now you're making fun of me? No, 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 no. Oscar. Oscar the Shark Slayer. That's what people be saying. Uh, ah! Lenny. Here I come. Ta-da! And Angie. Everybody thinks you slayed the shark! In everyone's favorite company. Oscar, did you? Yeah, exa exactly how it looked. That's how it is. And now you can join them at everyone's favorite whale watch. Come on, Angie. Dance with me, mama. Dig dog. Dig dog. Dog dig. Dig dog. Yeah. Yo, diggy dog. Shark tail. Somewhere over the horizon, in a place unlike any other. Hi, Mrs. Kwong. Hi. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Conrad and Sally Walden were inside listening to a few rules from their mother. No video games, no fighting, no answering the phone, city morgue, and absolutely no one sets foot in the living room or else. But today, while she's away, someone special will show them how to play. Who are you? Who? Me? Why, I'm the cat in the hat. Hairball. Phenometer? That measures how fun you are. You guys are both out of whack. You're a control freak, and you're a rule breaker. So what do we do? Mom says we're not allowed to lift me member. Come on, kids, you know you want to. Stop this right now! The fish is talking. But is he saying anything? No, not really. See, kids, I told you we could have fun! <laughs> no, no opening the crate. They're on a magical journey. Wicked cool. Let the 12-year-old cry! Oh, yeah! This is Where you'll find fun. Uh, is there a cat in here? And adventure around every corner. What? Get ready to experience the ultimate game of cat and house. The mother of all messes. Mike Myers. <laughs> 
You need to clean this mess up. I'll try. You don't try. You do. Yes, ma'am. The Cat in the Hat. Why, hello there. It's so nice of you to drop by Piglet's house. And just in time, too. Everyone else is arriving as well. As you can see, Winnie the Pooh and his friends are hard at work making drawings for Piglet's Book of Memories. So let's not disturb them. Now, we should take a moment to explain how to find your way around. You can use the arrow keys on your remote control to go to any of the choices shown here. When you arrive at the item you'd like to choose, just press enter on your remote control to select it. You see, it's very simple. So let's continue, shall we? Play. This option will let you watch Piglet's big movie from beginning to end. Bonus features. Here you'll find fun things that you're certain to enjoy. Scene selection. Choose this and we'll go to another menu. From there, you can go directly to your favorite parts of the movie. Sneak peeks. Here, you'll learn about other things that might be of interest to you. Setup. This is where you can choose different ways to play the movie. It's all quite simple, don't you think? I'm sure you'll have no trouble at all. Now off you go and enjoy yourself.